hormones are raging your weight is totally out of control you are beginning to have low self-esteem already you are feeling worthless your confidence level is low when your friends say let's go out together you are the one that is always cancelling your breakouts have refused to go even though you have watched and learned and practicalized some of the videos that i've made here on skincare i am here today to help you today light has come yes light has come because what i'm about to teach you what i'm about to expose you to might be something that you have been missing out on Today I'm going to help you to learn how to maintain a good weight, calm your hormones and unlock ultimate skin radiance using and following some of the practical tips that I've put together in today's video. Now if all of this sounds like something you are interested in, then of course continue to watch. Hi guys, my name is Eniola and I do all things skincare, beauty and wellness, sometimes a little bit of lifestyle. Do not forget to give me a huge thumbs up and also make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Today's video is so close to my heart girl it's so close to my heart and it was the difference between when i started my skincare journey four years ago versus two years into my journey when i stumbled on this knowledge i started working on it actively and i started seeing a lot of radical changes with how i carried myself with how confident i started feeling and with how high my self-esteem began to be number one if you want to maintain a good weight, if you want to start unlocking skin radiance, if you want to really calm your hormones and ultimately be this person that they say, oh girl, that girl is hot. Number one, you have to get up now, go to the clinic and do a small hormonal panel a small hormonal panel i am talking little by little because i want you guys to get the true intention behind what i'm saying if you have watched almost all my videos you've gotten some of the products that i've talked about you are currently using them you are still not seeing changes you are not even stopping at my videos you are following a lot of skincare influencers on youtube on instagram and you are still not seeing changes sis get up now whether you're at your office or you're at a, a, a marketplace or something Put it on your phone that you have to go to the clinic to do a mini hormonal panel now when you go to the clinic the hormones that you will ask them to test the hormones you will ask them to test at the clinic are seven in number seven in number since if you're about to get married if you're currently in a relationship if you are over 25 if your skin has been giving you serious challenges you are currently 35 40 50 your skin has been giving you challenges as a woman i want you to stand up now book an appointment with your clinic some of you have hmos some of you have health medical offices that you can go into that are registered with your work offices your employment that you won't have to pay a single cent on take advantage of that some of you also have health insurance take advantage of that and go to the clinic you will run a mini hormonal panel they are going to be testing for seven hormones number one is lh luteinizing hormone fsh follicle stimulating hormone three is prolactin four is progesterone five is thyroid hormones again thyroid hormones six is estrogen i don't know if i'm pronouncing it correctly but i'm gonna put everything on the screen six is estrogen and then the last one is insulin now before you see your doctor before they interpret to you let me first of all help you with what i have gathered from my research that is happening four out of these hormones are largely for your reproductive organs to measure if you are able to procreate to be sure that your all reproductive hormones are balanced and then three out of it is responsible for your weight is responsible for your digestion is responsible for your physical well-being that is every other thing outside of your reproductive system do you see why you have to do seven now four is for reproductive three is for physical health the reason why i am focusing on this is because the remaining three which i'm going to mention now is what i'm really going to be emphasizing on is the reason why your skin is still not glowing is the reason why your skin does not have that ultimate radiance is the reason why you are still breaking out and why you are adding an unusual amount of weight I am sparing you all of that stress by asking you to do this now. Sis, as a rule of thumb, once or twice in a year, should I be honest with you, I have done my hormonal panel this year. 
I do it two times every single year now because it is so, so important to your physical feminine well-being as a woman. You have to be doing it at least once a year or twice a year. Now, the next thing that I want to let you know that I want to give you a hint on when it comes to learning how to manage your weight, how to calm your hormones and how to make sure that your skin is ultimately radiant. You are what you eat plain and simple you are what you eat these two women here they are in their 60s this one here is 60 something this other woman here is 60 something the difference is knowledge is application is nutrition the difference is knowledge application and nutrition one woman here started using sunscreen on time while the other woman here did not start using sunscreen on time or does not even use sunscreen at all one woman here is constantly taking collagen supplements the other woman here is not taking collagen supplements one woman here is constantly eating right making sure that our routine when it comes to our nutrition meal prep everything is balanced the other woman here is just winging it do you now see how all the accumulated changes lifestyle factors eventually results in your skin your weight looking like this versus looking like this this is truly what i am trying to say i am not trying to scare you i am trying to tell you that see all these things build up into accumulated factors that eventually turn into the report card that your skin your body your well-being is going to be giving you whether you're in your 40s in your 50s or in your 60s versus right here do you understand what i'm trying to say number three number three stress and anxiety and how it affects your hormones and how it triggers an unusual weight gain and how that ultimately makes you feel low makes you have low self-esteem makes you feel worthless and makes you feel less confident you need to calm down with distress since every single person on this planet has life challenges the difference is they are not wearing it on their shoulders and they are not allowing it to overwhelm them and that is in turn not causing damage to their body to their blood to their hormones and to their overall well-being every single person on this planet goes through life at their own pace or whatever phase of life that they are in you have to learn how to unplug i was recently just with my husband and i said part of the things that i'm super grateful for that i've learned in my communion and in my fellowship with god is when i worship when i sit at the feet of jesus every single day when i do my devotional when i'm journaling it is a therapeutic moment for me to just dump all my stress there dump all my burdens there and come out of that fellowship feeling lighter and feeling laser focused on my life this is super super important you need to create an outlet for stress and anxiety every single day so what does that look like for you every single day are you the kind of person that once you're stressed you just take a day out of your week to not do a single thing you put off your phone you eat you cook you lavish yourself with your body care with your skin care routine and you go to bed that is how i take care of myself when i'm stressed out i do not pop up on social media instagram is off TikTok is off, YouTube is off, and I'm just in my house with my husband, cooking, eating, sleeping, lavishing my body with skincare, and just resting and using my supplements. I'm gonna get into the supplements corner really, really soon. But you need to find an outlet for your stress. Okay, for some people, the only way they deal with stress is they go to the gym and they exercise, or they take a walk, or they go call their friends just on the phone with their friends for an hour or two and then suddenly feel lighter you need to find an outlet for your stress and your anxiety that is also not going to be damaging for your health some people distress and they get rid of anxiety by going out and clubbing and taking shisha hookah and uh, drinking and all of that that is not good for your hormones at all you have to look for wholesome ways to deal with stress wholesome ways to deal with anxiety and wholesome ways to just get rid of what that tension that pressure that lifestyle issue is causing you what kind of contraception 
are you using as a woman to stop yourself from having kids in between one child and the other and how does that affect your hormonal health how does that affect your weight gain and how does that affect your skin health this is where i come in do you know that by using the wrong contraception to stop childbirth you are changing the way your hormones are worked up you are changing the way your hormones are supposed to be working and that can largely lead to hormonal imbalance for you as a woman. That is why I am telling you that you need to pay extra precaution to the kind of contraception you are using to space childbirth between one child and the other. You need to go to your family doctor. You can't just say, okay, they give you one, you get on it and you are breaking out. Your breakout has refused to go, you are adding unusual amount of weight and you stick to it and you are not still trying to change it. You are not looking for other options. That is very bad for you. That is very, very bad for you. I want you to go to your doctor. Okay, we are trying to space children in between. I'm 35, I don't want to have kids just yet or I'm 35, I already have two and I want to stop. Which kind of contraception methods do you have do not just settle for a one-off some people have used iud and they had issues some people have used contraceptive pills and they had issues some people have taken injections and they have issues you have to find the exact one that suits your anatomy and your hormonal health as well as your skin health and your weight and all of that and that is why i just briefly talked about contraception now when it comes to menopause how are you entering menopause as a woman i have realized that i have a diverse a variety of people who watch my channel i have women in their 40s in their 50s in their 60s who watch my videos and who are learning a lot and i know that some of you are currently in menopause how are you dealing with menopause once you start to notice the sudden hot flash the current insomnia you are not sleeping properly you are currently not seeing your period or your period is longer than usual these are common signs that you are probably in menopause you are advancing age you are not seeing your period you are having hot flashes you're having insomnia it is time to go and see a gynecologist to get your hormones again like i said tested and to be sure that maybe you are actually in menopause and it is time for you to enter that season of your life prepared i know my mom had her own fair share of ordeal when she entered menopause and we had to actually get her to see a family doctor and they prescribed a couple of supplements which i'm going to get into later on i'm also going to put it on the screen if you guys are interested uh one is menopause there's another one that she uses and then she's also on the vitamin c effervescence the one with calcium she uses a couple of supplements that has been helping her to enter this phase of life properly prepared and also well and beautifully the last thing that we're going to be talking about today are supplements for each category of woman supplements for each category of woman now if you watch some of my videos in the past i've talked about this but i'm just going to bring it back again if you are currently in menopause you are currently dealing with menopause sis i would encourage you do not take my word for it go to a pharmacist and confirm everything that i'm saying but sis menopause is good cod liver oil is good calcium supplements the one with vitamin c is good i'm going to put pictures here don't worry and then lastly vitamin d is going to be super super important for you okay so editing and you like here in the video i said 40 and above no it is if you're 50 and above because I know my mom started facing menopause when she was in her 50s. So if you are currently dealing with signs of menopause and you've confirmed from your doctor that you have menopause or you're experiencing menopause, those supplements are really, really going to work for you. Girl, listen to me. If you're in your 20s, teens, early 20s, 30s, these are the supplements you need to start using. Number one, if you're about to start having kids, you need a prenatal supplement you need a prenatal supplement this one contains everything your body needs to make sure that you are ready to incubate and have a healthy beautiful child that is going to be well developed without any disability or the other okay editing and ella here again if you're not ready to have kids please you don't need a prenatal i say 20 and some people are 20 and they're ready to have kids some people are 30 and they're ready to have kids if you're not ready to have kids you don't need a prenatal yeah going to be important your prenatal needs to have folate it needs to have iron it needs to have everything the infants that's the futures 
the embryo whatever class or stage your child is inside you is going to be in this is super important so a good prenatal supplement is going to be important for you cod liver oil the one with um omega-3 omega-6 or omega-9 anyone works for you the next one is vitamin c supplements with calcium this one is super super important now instead of taking vitamin d you that you are in your 20s and in your 30s you are going to take magnesium you are going to take magnesium these supplements have worked wonders for me and i have honestly seen a huge amount of change when it comes to how well my body is when i'm on my period when i'm ovulating whether whatever phase of life that i'm in i've been seeing good changes with this supplement i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video i just feel like it is not every time that i'm going to come up here and tell you to buy this product follow this routine do this do that i need to make sure that you have a balanced knowledge of how your internal health health also affects your external well-being how what you eat your nutrition your hormones play a key role on how beautiful how radiant your skin is going to be how you're going to be able to manage your weight and how well you're going to be able to calm your hormones and how this combined together is going to give birth to a woman that is confident and a woman that feels really really hot and really really sexy and really really attractive thank you so much for watching do not forget to give me a huge thumbs up and of course i will see you guys in the very next one bye